Hi, I'm Valerie Knowles from Knowles Produce, and today I am going to tell you all about how to clean leeks. It's a question I get a lot or a comment that people don't like working with fresh leeks because they are so sandy. They're grown in sandy soil and they come just completely full of sand and grit and grossness. And it's all up through it because as they grow from the ground and they grow the layers, it gets trapped in between the layers. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it so that you can eat leeks at home. For any of you who maybe haven't eaten leeks before, it's a very mild onion flavor. I love them sauteed with butter, salt and pepper, a little bit of null spice or garlic salt. I also love potato leek soup. So here's what you're gonna do. First, you're gonna take your leek, right? And you're going to cut the hairy end off. And then you're gonna cut it to just past where the dark green starts. And you discard that part. So it's left like a nice little piece like this. And you think, well, wow, I'm wasting a lot, right? Like I'm not really eating very much of the leek. There's so many layers in here. It's so dense in there that you still get tons out of it. All right, so you cut them so that they're like this. Then cut it lengthwise like that. See all those layers? And then from there, you're gonna cut it into thin half moons. So, I don't know, it's probably about a quarter of an inch. So you're gonna slice that into a quarter inch slices. Just like that. I have frozen leeks before. I have gone through this cleaning process. And then after I have my little half moons that are cleaned, I've put them on a baking sheet and stick them in the freezer on that baking sheet so that they freeze all separated like that. And then after they're frozen, after a day or so, I've put them in like a Ziploc baggie. All right, so then when you get your half moons like this, you put them in a bowl of cold water. Uh, you can also put them in your sink if you stop up your sink. So you put them in your cold water. The cold water also kind of kind of firms them up if they've gotten it all soft. Boy, this is super, super sandy. If you didn't know how to clean leeks and you just sliced it up and threw it in a salad or threw it in something, you would never eat leeks again. <laughs> so full of sand. All right, so you get your leeks in your cold water and then you use your fingers and you just kind of run your fingers through them to separate the layers. See, I'm separating the layers here. What's happening is all the grit is running out, running off of the layers, especially when I'm agitating it with my fingers like this. All the grit's running right off and it's sinking to the bottom. See, the, le the leeks are all floating up here, but the grit is all sinking right to the bottom. So I'll keep kind of teasing it apart like this. Have you ever cooked leeks before? I, something that a lot of people eat out at restaurants, but they've never necessarily cooked before. Uh, leeks were part of our crop share box last week, so a lot of people out there got leeks this week, and maybe, maybe they didn't know what to do with them. All right. So once you get them all kind of separated, and I'm feeling as I go, and kind of feeling to see if I'm running across any grit, or if I see anything that has grit, but these are all starting to look really clean. Boy, there was a lot of grit in there too. Then after that, I'm just gonna take a slotted spoon and being careful to not let the spoon go into the bottom of that bowl, I can just scoop my leeks right out, see? And they're all nice and clean. So they're ready to go into a skillet with maybe a little olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of butter, something like that, or to go on and make soup with. Uh, some people just eat it raw in salads too. And this water is all murky and in the bottom, almost the whole bottom of this little bowl is completely covered in grit. So how about that? So see, nice clean leeks ready to go. I use this same method when I'm cleaning spinach or collards or any kind of green. I do the same thing. I just I just uh, cut them up, 
and put them in my sink filled with cold water or a big bowl filled with cold water and agitate them and all that grit falls right to the bottom. This time of year when we get local, local lettuce, uh, local greens, anything that's grown locally, it's oftentimes grown in really sandy, uh, sandy fields. So naturally they get really gritty and sandy. So that's the secret. Uh, thanks for watching and I will show you what to do with your next video, with your uh, next vegetable next time. Thanks guys.